Hi everybody, it's a Barbie Gone Wrong here and I thought I would do a video on hair extensions. Now I get a lot of questions on whether my hair is real or not. If you count extensions as real hair because it is human hair, then yes, my hair is real. Um, it's not a wig, it's extensions. So here I will show you how it looks. Um, for example, like, well they're falling out right now because I didn't put them in properly, but as you can see they're clipping extensions. So what I do is that I get a full set of extensions and have them clipped in my hair. So therefore my hair is nice and long. Now, um, there are different types of hair extensions that you can get. Like you can see with mine, you can do clip-ins, there is bonding, there is fusing. Um, those are all different ways of doing the same thing. Now some are more recommended than others. Bonding or fusing is when you are attaching the hair extension piece to your actual hair. So you'll see, if you see like, well I don't have mine, but what I would do is that you would, to, like for example, to this piece of hair, you would have it, it would just be almost like, like, like sewn kind of all around onto the, the root of the hair and be like sewn up to a certain amount and the rest would be in. So that I don't recommend because of the fact that it is constantly attached to your hair. Therefore, it is gonna rip your hair it's gonna it's gonna weigh down your hair constantly, so which is why you get people with thinning hair, because my hair is very thick. And the more what I do is, you can see it's very very bleach blonde color platinum. Um, the more damaging you're gonna get. So I do not recommend getting bond. Not that I don't recommend it, but I would say that if you were choosing between getting clip-ins or getting bonded, I would definitely definitely do clip-ins because one. You put them in whenever you want, and you take them in whenever you feel like it. So they're not constantly weighing your hair down 24-7. Now also with uh, bonding extensions or fusing them to your hair, you have to take a lot of care of it because the fact that it's constantly in your hair. So you have to sleep with your hair up. Things like that, like if you accidentally forget or like, you know, you're drunk, you're out one night, and you kind of fall asleep with your extensions, and they get very damaged, and they need to be replaced very quickly. And that's another uh, factor when it comes to choosing extensions is that as your hair grows, your extensions will grow with them. So you're going to have to get them taken out and then um, re sewn bonded, fused, whatever way you choose to do, back in. And that's going to cost you money over and over and over again. So they can get quite pricey, especially if you're doing it through those methods, um, which is another reason why clip-ins are great because if you use them less, they're going to last you less or last you longer time. And also, uh, clip-ins can last you anywhere from six months to roughly twelve months. Usually, I don't recommend having one set for longer than twelve months. Um, depending on the quality of hair, I've had extensions that have lasted me over a year, and they've been fantastic. And I've had extensions that have lasted me five months, and I need to get them replaced. But that also, another factor that comes in play is whether you take good care of them. Now, when you're done using them, you know, just like brush them, put them aside somewhere so they're not getting tangly. The issue with me is that when I get sick of wearing mine, I just kind of clip them out and literally throw them <laughs> wherever they go. So they're like in my car randomly sitting on my seat and things like that. So definitely don't recommend doing that. 100% don't ever do that to you. Now, extensions can be quite pricey. Once again, depending on the method you use, um, if you buy the extensions from the salon and then get them bonded at the salon, you're looking at, I don't know, sometimes it can go up to up to $1,000, if not more. The sets that I buy, I do get my extensions online. Now, I know people will say, you know, it's not a very smart idea because you don't know where the hair is coming from, you don't know the quality of hair, whether it's, you know, horse hair or different sort of animal hair as opposed to human hair. Um, I do buy mine from reputable sellers that have thousands and thousands of reviews and I get my extensions only from North America. Now if you get them from China you're not going to get very good quality hair which is, you know, understandable. So I buy mine only from North America and my sets run anywhere from $110 to $150 for a full set of hair. Now. A full set of hair would be roughly 100 grams. Now that's not enough if you have 
the care if you want volume if you want like you know if you're getting extensions not necessarily for the length but more for the volume you are going to need a bigger set so standard sets are roughly 90 to 100 grams my set that I bought, this one is about 130, 140 grams. So obviously the thicker the set, the more expensive it is, but it is definitely worth getting a thicker set because you do not want to get one set and then it not be enough and then have to go and buy another set just to get a couple more pieces in. So definitely recommend getting a thicker set. Make sure you look for that when you're buying them online. Another thing to consider is the weft of the extension. So that is, the single strand of extensions how many pieces you have that are bonded into one extension so by that i mean whether it's a single or double weft or sometimes you get triple weft and basically what that means is that when you have one single strand and then you have another strand that is kind of um sewn together into one piece so it's like getting two extensions putting them into one piece so you're getting a thicker set so it's not like a very thin set so my extensions are double wefted and I'll show you how one works. Um, this is all one piece, so it's not a thin piece. It's double wefted, meaning that you have two sewn into one. So that's definitely something to consider, especially if you're getting it online. Um, those are keywords to look at when you're looking or even messaging the seller. Make sure that they are double weft. That is something I'm definitely going to recommend because if they're not, they're going to be thin. No matter how thin your hair is, I don't care. It's not going to be enough. So you either buy two thin sets or you get one double weft set. So definitely look to see if they're double weft. Said make sure they're from North America. So you're not going to get crappy hair. And the thing with the human hair is that you know if your extensions are human hair, which they should be, you can dye them, you can straighten them, you can curl them, you can do, you can cut them, you can do anything to them. So. I got my extensions dyed because there, there's no extensions that are going to come this blonde or unlikely that they're going to come this blonde. You might find one seller that has like a short length set. Um, so yeah, I dyed mine and uh, so now they match. So therefore they are human hair. I straighten mine every single morning. Length is another thing. I would sometimes recommend getting a bit longer than you maybe you normally would because of the fact that because there are extensions, the more you use them, the more you curl them, brush them, straighten them, they're gonna break away. It's like breakaways, kind of like when you have really, really light hair. So they're gonna almost naturally get shorter because then you brush them more, it's, they're gonna break away. So obviously, because they're not part of your hair, they're not gonna grow. So therefore, if you kind of consider the fact that if you get a little bit longer and give them a bit of time, they'll eventually get shorter. So they're going to be the perfect length for you. So therefore you have more use out of them as opposed to getting a really, sh like a short set, like this set that you normally mean the length you might want to get. They're going to eventually get shorter. And if they get too short, they're going to be shorter than your own hair. And you're going to have to get a new set. Now, because my hair is this blonde, I don't have that problem because my hair pretty much doesn't grow. And um, not that it doesn't grow, but by the time it starts reaching a certain length due to breakaways, it almost kind of like cuts itself, so I don't need haircuts, and that's not something to be proud of. So uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. But uh, yeah, that's. I hope this video kind of helps you guys out. You know, things to consider with extensions. Um, I definitely do get recommend getting extensions. I think they're great if you take good care of them. They're gonna last you a really long time. And there's a lot of things you can do with them. You can get different sets with different colors. You can dye your own sets. Have like underneath lighter or darker. So they're a lot of fun and they're good to play with. So um, hope this video helped you guys out and stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe below or post any comments or any questions that you guys have. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.